Hello. If you've ever painted with oil paints, you've probably had to use a lot of this. Odorless mineral spirits are a big improvement over turpentine or regular mineral spirits, but it's still one of the more toxic things in your studio. So if you can avoid it, it's a good idea. This one seems to be the best odorless mineral spirits I've used to date. I can inhale quite a bit of this without getting a headache. So I think this is easily the least worst that I've yet to encounter. But I prefer an even safer method. Jar number one is mineral oil, or in my case, baby oil, because I couldn't find actual mineral oil. Jar number two is a 50-50 split of mineral oil and detergent. Make sure it's a detergent, not soap. There is a difference. It matters. And the final jar is a 50-50 split of detergent and plain old water. This is how the system works. Find three glass jars from a dollar store. Be sure to label them properly on both sides so you don't get it mixed up. I've also labeled the lids. First thing you do is take the brush and put it in the straight mineral oil. Oil tends to get along really well with other oil, so they just kind of commingle and you know washes all that pigment out of your brush. So now I've got a brush that's got a lot of mineral oil in it, but not much pigment. The pigment's floating in there and now it's relatively cleanish. So now I put it in stage two, which combines the mineral oil with the detergent. As we all know, oil and water don't normally mix. However, detergent and oil will mix, and detergent and water will mix. So I just do a multiple stage thing. First oil to get the pigment out, then oil and detergent, and just kind of get the party going. And finally, detergent and water. And if you look at that, there is absolutely no beading. It just looks like a clean brush. Now you can just run this through a sink and you're good to go. It's just that simple. And the ingredients are cheap, they're easy to find, and when they run out, just open the lids, let them evaporate, dump the sludge into a bucket, throw it out at a chemical, chemical dump. Um, it's yeah, not that hard to dispose of. So that is how you clean your brush the completely non-toxic way.